Hello guys, RivetWiz here. So today I'll be showing you how to create a two-dimensional drafting view drawing from an AutoCAD import and how you can edit this drafting view by doing the following and also editing your text and editing your filled regions. And then I will show you how to save this as a Rivet file and then how to import it into your projects in the future. So if you want to learn how to do this, please stay tuned, guys. OK, so let's get into it. So I'm just going to open a new model here, a structural template model. You are obviously going to bring this detail into your project that you are working on. So firstly, what we want to do is we want to go to the view tab. And then we're going to click the drafting view. So we can leave the name as drafting view one and scale one to 10 for the moment. And we're going to say, okay. So then you'll notice here in the brow project browser on the left or wherever you put this project browser, the drafting view is or has been created. So now we want to bring in an AutoCAD drawing or a two dimensional drawing into this two dimensional space. A drafting view is a two dimensional space. Okay, so let's go to AutoCAD. So this is a library I've created throughout my years of working of typical details that I usually use. So I'm going to use for the example, this retaining wall. So what you wanna do is copy the detail from wherever you have it we want to put it on a new drawing a clean drawing without anything else on that drawing so i'm just going to press the plus button for the new drawing then i'm going to just paste it here and notice the scale is 1 to 25 so whatever scale you put or have this detail on we need to make sure that the drafting view is on that same scale before we import it so i'm just going to save this so you can save it anywhere that's easy accessible. I'm just going to save it to the desktop and just say uh, retaining wall for reference. And I'm going to save it. Then we will go back to our rivet drafting view file. So firstly, we're going to make sure the scale that our drawing is on is 1 to 25 in AutoCAD. And we want to make sure our scale is set to the same in our drafting view. So do that, make your scale the same as whatever your AutoCAD is. Then we will go to Insert, Import CAD, and we will then go to where we've saved this. That would be Retaining Wall. Then I'll just keep this on black and white. Preserve just means it will bring in the same colors as whatever line color or hatch color your current AutoCAD is. It will bring it in as that color. Then I'll keep that on all the layers and then import. I know it's millimeters, so change it to whatever units your drawing is. Then I'll choose manual center because I want to place it myself. And then place at level one or two doesn't really matter because it's two dimensional. And then I'll say open and I'll just click anywhere. And there's your detail. So now I want to make this look more like the rivet file or the rivet um, text and all of that so what i want to do is click on this you can see you can't you can't edit anything on this it's like a block so you're going to go here to explode and i'm going to say full explode and now you will see once you click on this it has created full regions and also the text has been converted to a rivet type text so what I usually do is I delete this um, heading because once you pull this into your sheet, the, the heading would be whatever is um, the description that says drafting one. So it will display drafting one. So now what I want to do is just go and delete all the um, lines, your leader arrows. Apologies, that should not have happened. Just delete all of those lines. And then what we will do is click on the text 
and I'll change this text to whatever text you are using. So you can see I'm changing it to the, to the text of Revit. So you can select all of the text at once and then just change it to the size that you want. So I'm just going to make it a bit neat. Just pull that and then I will delete all the text and dimensions. And then I will add my leader arrows like I've just done there. So you can just add it and you can center that. And then you can display this specific or show where this specific text is associated to. So I'm just going to do this quickly. Or as quick as possible. Might seem tedious, but once you've done this, you can save this detail and just import it for the next project. So just notice that in the background here, you'll see that there's, if I highlight this, you can see there's three um, elements selected. So if I filter this, you're going to have the detail items and then lines. So the lines is something that's different from the full region. So usually I hover over these lines, I press tab and I just go and delete them. Um, the reason for that is because when you do dimensions, it'll snap to the lines and not to your full region. Okay, so you can just click on there again and delete it. Those lines I will keep because that represents whatever is behind the retaining wall. So now I will dimension this like it was dimensioned in our AutoCAD file, you can see it there, and then um, I can also change this text. So if I double click on it, I can say, okay, I remember there was actually something that said max 900 mil. So I'll say max dot, and then it will still have the value you can see there. So that's how you do that. And then if you wanted to, to make this base bigger or smaller, you can just click on the full region. And then I can go here and say, okay, I want this 800 mils wide. And it changes it. So that's quite easy to edit, which is very useful in the two-dimensional space. So you can also go and click on this um, wall, which is a filled region. So what it does is it creates its own filled region from the DWG. But I want to edit this and duplicate it and just call it brick wall. So it represents the brick wall hatch that is within your um, rivet file so that that draw in the drafting view this brickwork here is the rivet brickwork hatch just looks a bit neater and so that you make sure you use the standard um, throughout your project same with the concrete i'll duplicate this just call it concrete and once again click there drafting view and go to concrete and say okay and then this subsoil you can also edit duplicate just call it subsoil whatever um, you can edit this at the drafting i'm just going to give it maybe like a cross hatch there you go so it looks something like that so now that this is done you can go and rename this uh, let's just call it Typical, typical 230 millimeter staining wall. Okay, so now if you go to our sheets and then we say new sheet, I'm just going to use the, the one, the Autodesk one, and you take this typical detail and you bring it in to your project, you will see that it displays quite nicely and you can use it this on all your sheets so i'm just going to say well you can edit the title to make it neater i have a video on that um, so yeah guys that is how easy you can create a typical detail you can from here you can actually if you want another typical detail and you don't want to rework everything you can click here right click on it dupl duplicate duplicate with detailing it will duplicate the exact same detail. I'll change this. Let's say I want this to be um, maybe 
1.3 high and then I will align this to the bottom just make make it 1.3 again okay that did not work let's just say edit click there like a trial and error with rivet so there we go 1.3 and then I want this wall to be say 345 and I want the base to be 850 and then you can just highlight like you do, you do in AutoCAD I'm sure you'll have experience in AutoCAD if you want to start learning Rivet and then I'll just extend these lines to the top so it looks neat move this one up say 345 millimeter brick wall just change that text to 850 and let's say uh, I want to make that 300. Finish. Let's change that again to 300. And then we can rename this. Call it 345. Okay. And then we go to our sheet again. So now let's pull in the 345. And there you have your two typical details, which is quite easy and straightforward. So now if you wanted to save this so that you can use it for a future project, you'll click on this typical detail, the right click and you'll say save to new file. Let's give it a moment. Then let's say I'm just going to save it on the desktop. I'll call it typical 230 millimeter retaining wall. I'll save it. So now saved it as a family and you can bring it in as a drafting view so let me show you so let's just do a new project with a clean clean drafting view so we'll go project just go structural okay and now we don't have to do all those steps again we just go to insert um but before we Oh no, we can do that. Apologies. Okay, let's go to Okay, let's go to insert. You don't have to follow all those AutoCAD steps again. Then we will just go here insert from file, insert view from file. Then this is the detail that I saved just now. I'll click on this and I'll say open. Then it's going to say it's going to import it as a drafting view and this is how it's going to look and we will say okay and it brings in all the details with the scale and everything and the name into your drafting view so that is how easy it is so it might be tedious setting up these drafting views but once you have set it up and saved it in a, in a rivet format you can just insert it from um, wherever you've saved it into any of your projects so yeah guys that is how you create drafting views and work within a two-dimensional plane in Revit. Once again, thank you for all your support. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. And leave some comments if you want me to do videos on specific topics. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Cheers.